Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, here we are back in Feed the Beast. i got some things planned for today, but first, I've done some work. So, this is the storage room. Got my miscellaneous things, which were over there. I got my red power chest, uh, the thing that had the the railcraft stuff. I might get around to that one day actually working on that, but uh, I actually have what I want to do for next episode planned out. Here's what's left in the farming chest, because I moved most of the seeds and stuff over here. Uh, went and got some ender pearls, some blaze rods, bricks. I had to make a second barrel for coal, because I filled up the first one. Which, I've been hard at work. I have quite a bit of materials. The, uh, the quarry's been working very, very well. Used, well, haven't used the diamonds yet. Let's just, uh, well, first of all, here's how you make an ender pouch. I'm using black. This will tie it into my, uh, quarry system, basically. But what this means is that I'll be able to open this up, and say I come in here and say I grab a stack of these. Right? Now, you'll see there's 22, 64. 22 stacks of 64. If I put this in here, it disappears, and in a little bit, which is however long it feels like taking to get through the pipes, it'll end up back in there. Although I've been having issues with things bugging out for some reason and not ending up where they're supposed to be. But, uh, I'll give that a second. Uh, some of these, these are just the structure. Let me just bring up the Zycraft thing here. Ooh, that doesn't show me the structure. As for the lights, I have inverted lights, which, um, by inverted it means they're automatically on. I made multiple of these. There's four there, and then I've done some work over here. There's lights on the edge of these. This is just basically the storage block. This just takes nine crystals, no smelting or anything. Decided to put water here. I'm not sure for how it looks. Uh, I'm using glass viewers. These are also uh, something added by Zycraft, but it uses only vanilla materials. Or that aluminum that nobody likes up here can be used to make the glass viewers. Where are you? No. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Now you can see... You can either make it with one iron and eight glass, and you get eight of them. Or if you use that aluminum in glass in the induction smelter, you get four per four glass, but you use up the aluminum that nobody likes. So, that gives me use for the aluminum, and it automatically connects, which I like. And I like its border. So, I've used that quite extensively. And for some odd reason, my frame rate is being quite bad while recording. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Here is basically my uh, machine room now. That's the Soul Forge. Got the project tables, condensed them down into uh, right here. So that's good. Powered furnace, pulverizer, induction smelter. This is still not hooked up because I don't care about it. Then I've got the uh, magma crucible and the liquid transposer. Now you'll notice that there's certain spots on the floor that are a different color. Let's just go down here. This is the MFE. I moved it over and made more cable. And if you follow the cable, you'll realize that uh, where things are hooked up is where the colors go. So the Minecraft jewels, which I'm using the redstone energy conduit, I've marked with red engineering blocks. And I've marked the uh, EUs with uh, yellow engineering blocks. And I built the room out of uh, the dark, or whatever, the black engineering blocks. So, I, I like how it looks, and I really like the hexagons, so. But I feel like, th these right here, these mark where the power is coming from. And I've got a contraption over here, it's, whoa, it's not quite built yet. But there is one of those lights under there, and it's lighting through the chest, which is quite handy. And I did the same theme over here, but we need to build the things that go there. So we don't need you. We've already used you. 
Now the first thing we're going to need is the assembly table, which I didn't actually show you the recipe yet because I'm terrible. Hopefully you didn't miss it. Let's just press R. It's a diamond gear, a diamond, six obsidian, and a redstone. Which, a diamond gear is four diamonds around a gold gear, which is four gold around an iron gear, blah blah blah. And we're just going to put that guy here. He'll automatically fill into the... That doesn't seem quite right. Maybe I should... See, I kind of want it on the floor, and I know it'll empty into an adjacent chest like that. Whatever. I just can't be sure that uh, the thing's going to put there, which... In order to run the assembly table, you need lasers. They're not cheap. And as you can see, I'm going to make a ton of them. And boom! Boom. There we go. So I might have put a lot of extra redstone in there. Whoops. There we go. These endermen, like, they're constantly in my house. So, the thing about the assembly table is every single item takes a certain amount of power to create. And it gets its power from the lasers. The lasers can only transmit power to it at a specific rate. Now, you can, however, add more lasers. This will not increase the power consumption, only the rate of power consumption, to my knowledge. Which means that I can go completely overboard on lasers. And I should be able to create things very, very quickly. Now, it's the same concept in here. Let's just go down. I have an energy tesseract set up to my main power. Which I've actually emptied twice. Uh, whenever I was smelting all that stuff. This is empty. How are you? Now you're still good. Okay, so... Whoa. Whoa. I tried putting Optifine in, but unfortunately that was just really, really buggy. So, I'm just going to take one piece of redstone right now. I... There must be some kind of threshold I keep crossing there. Now here's the cool thing about the assembly table. It's got its own little inventory of 12 spaces. And you can see, this is what I can make with my current materials. And I forget what the key is to make any eye go away, so... I like how it says it can use some number of Minecraft jewels, but whatever. I'm going to click on this. All the lasers light up, and... Bam. And then it spits it out into this chest. If I didn't have this chest here, it would spit it out onto the ground. But, uh, I want to try making something that's a bit more... It, it's something that takes a lot longer. I, th I don't know if I need a redstone with this. Oh, stop it. Oh, god damn it. Note to self. Do not... Oh, speaking of right-clicking, I figured this out. You see above my armor things there? If I hold shift and mouse wheel, I can switch between them. The blink drive functions like an ender pearl, pretty much. Crafting window. Plasma cannon. So... I think I do need a redstone. I hope this doesn't, you know... Stop that. Stop. Okay, so... Oh yeah, that's pretty quick for a pulsating chipset. Yes! Yes! Lasers! Many lasers. And it's done. Okay, but uh, those will be important for gates I'll need later. I'll show you those when I get around to them, but... Uh, I figured out how the, f the fabricator works. As you can see, I have I was making blues like Corium blocks with it. If you middle-click on the the middle, the, the, like the ghost item, basically, it will clear it out. But uh, you see how I have these things in here? Well, I needed stone bricks, so I was making stone bricks, and I had... I actually made another fabricator. What the? I just realized there's a thing over here. Interesting. But anyhow, 
it will automatically draw from the connect, uh, connected inventory, but it will not automatically spit out. It'll just put it right here in these nine spaces. So if I go like this... Oh, it already made some buttons, the bastard. Wasted four of my blocks. But it's, the moment I go like this, the rate at which it makes those is just insane. And you can pull stuff out with buildcraft pipes, which is part of the reason for the laser setup. <sighs> I can't believe it wasted some of my materials on buttons. And if you're wondering why all the refined iron, it's because, well, you saw how much iron I had. And I was trying to convince my iron to go somewhere else. If you know what I mean. So, the next thing I need is... I'm going to need a piece of iron and a piece of redstone. Stop that. What I'll do is I take one of those and one of those. And I click that. And it will make the redstone iron chipset. Now, I'm pretty sure... I think I just put the, this in. Yeah, and then I can make a gate out of that. Do, 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 do. And if I were to put these in here, it'll show nothing at the moment. The moment I put in this gate, I can make an Octarctic gate. Now, if you're familiar with buildcraft pipes, you'll know that in order to... You have to use an engine in order to pull things out of a wooden pipe. If you're more familiar with buildcraft pipes, you'll know what the thing in my hand is for. Basically, it is a gate that can function as an engine. Let me just go get a cobblestone pipe. I'm going to see if I can't sort out this uh, lag issue for next episode. But uh, Put you there. Now, if I put this here, and I right-click on it, see it has options... So, if there's items in inventory, and it's connected to this, so it should mean that. Centered energy pulse. Enderman! Go away! Oh, that makes up for the ender pearl I wasted earlier. And this is my processing center. I had a hopper on each of these, and I had filled them up, and then they dump into this chest in the very end. Because I had so many ores, it wasn't even funny. These don't need to be here anymore. But anyhow... What? I suppose I can't really do a whole lot at the moment, but, uh... And, uh, one thing I should mention is that fabricators can mo pull materials from the inventories of other fabricators. So, that is just a helpful piece of information to work with. But, uh, I should... I don't think I can put something directly in there. See, and then the moment there's in the inventory, it can pull out. So I'm I'm going to need those in the future because while the red power stuff is good, it's not always the most efficient. Because this is basically a setup you can do in one block, whereas with the red power machines, most of them, especially like the transposer, you need to have some sort of a redstone pulse which takes up an extra space and I swear they cause lag but uh, I do know that there is plans to try and update this but uh, I'm gonna see what I can do about designing the outside of these later stop that but uh, I suppose I kind of went over everything maybe I should have started or gotten the stuff ready for the next thing I wanted to work on, but I will save that for later. What am I going to do? I'm going to... Let's make some more machines. Machines I'm going to need for next time. So we're going to need the carpenter, which requires bronze, sadly. I think I can make bronze in the induction smelter. need a lot of bronze. Okay. Give me one of these, and one of these. You make bronze, right? Yes. Yes, it makes me bronze. 
Very good. Very good. Very good. I suppose, while I'm waiting on that, I think the next thing I need is a thermionic fabricator, which also takes bronze. Fun! Very much so. Yes. That was meant extremely sarcastically. Um... So I swore there was something else I needed, but maybe there isn't. I need a carpenter. Well, I'm making the carpenter. Two glass. I've made... I've started to make extensive use of the... Uh, the crafting table thing on this tool. It's quite handy. I need... what was it? Four gold and... Oh, too many letters. Too many letters. Okay, so three glass, a chest, and four gold. I should have a chest up top. Did I say four gold? That doesn't sound right. Maybe it is. Let's grab four gold. Oh yeah, it is. Outside corners. Oh. Chest. Do, 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 do. Three glass. One, two, three. Power tool. Even though know, there was things right there and I didn't need to do this. Um. There we go. Thermionic fabricators. I'll just pop these blocks out. You there. You there. I'm gonna need some more redstone energy conduits. And I suppose I'll just hook it up by doing one of these. Still don't want to hook up the rolling machine because I don't care about it. In other news, how are we doing for power? This is still full, which means one of those still has... At least one of those still has something in it. I've noticed that the uh, auto feeder add-on, like instantly consumed all my food, but it's been slowly feeding me ever since. So it basically freed up my inventory of all food. And it even takes rotten flesh, and as far as I can tell, it doesn't provide the debuff from it. Because I haven't had that happen to me yet, so I'm assuming it doesn't. What? Oh. Right. Okay. Oh. Let's just make use of this guy. Except for I don't think I have bronze anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. You, sir, don't need to be there. I'll just go put him in the red powder chest. Because I'm not... I generally make those as I need them. Dark engineering brick. Put them in there. I made a lot of red ones. Oh, I know what I can go over. These things are actually quite nifty, and the water I'm going to use just so I can show you how this works a little bit better. But, uh, the cool thing about, like, if you've seen, stop it, the Railcraft Iron Tanks, it's kind of the same general concept. Uh, let's get me some glass viewer. Wait, nope, let me in. Glass viewer? No, that's hardened glass. What? There's no way I used it all. Mm. Huh. You know what? I wonder if you can build these things out of engineering bricks, though. And I suppose... I don't think you can use glass panes. I can't believe there's no thingy in there. Lame. Well, I'm just going to make some real quick. No. There. Now. 
If I were to go, say, over here, and you need the smallest you can make is 3 by 3 Now, I think it works the same way as the iron tanks, except for with the iron tanks, you're restricted to using the iron tank walls and all that stuff. In this case, you're not. So I could, for example, set a valve here and a valve here. Put in item IO here, which is necessary for... Well, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't fully figured out how to get pipes hooked up to this, but I haven't tried hooking up pipes to it when it was actually plugged in. Plus, I don't have any waterproof pipes. Hmm. Let's make some. Actually, screw this. I have some liquid ducts. Oh, no, oh, don't do that. There is a total of two liquid ducts there. Stop it. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Because if I take this, put it there, nothing happens. But, worry about that later. Now, the water, it sort of acts as a water block. It will hydrate land, to my knowledge. Uh, I tried using it with the aqueous accumulator, and it didn't count as a source block. But uh, if we take glass viewer, just because I want to be able to see in, put it there. See that cool little graphic? That means that it is a proper tank. Now, the... Uh, the Zycorium water block I put over there is filling it up. And if we right click on it, we can see that this current tank holds 16 buckets of water. Which is not a whole hell of a lot. And supposedly this works like uh, the outputs on the thermal expansion things. But I'm not sure... Uh, no. Here's something I didn't do. Tried hooking up a liquid duct. Okay, that works. Okay. Makes sense. And it doesn't output automatically like an iron tank. So it basically functions identically to an iron tank, although I don't know if it holds as much. Uh, one way to tell would be to make it bigger. Which just so happens I brought more blocks with me. So let's make this bigger and see if it holds more. I believe it said that it can be anywhere from between a 3x3 to a 12x12. So they can be quite large. What is this, 4 by 4 One of these does not seem right. I wonder if this will even work. This is a very strange shape. What a very, very odd shape. Pop you out, and pop you out. You are a valve. And you are an item IO. Then the front of you is going to be glass viewers. See what I mean about how they connect? It's really quite handy. It looks amazing. Uh, oh, that's the valve. It's a corium water. Now, uh, can I just click anywhere? Oh, has to be one of those blocks. Now it holds 128 buckets. That is a pretty large increase. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. I figured that much. You can't hook it straight to that thing, but... Uh, basically what this means is that I can create blocks. Shut up, noise. 
I can create tanks that have like the Zycraft theme of pretty much any size and rectangular shape that I want. And it'll have a cool little graphic, and this means that it can be whatever color I want, so I can easily dictate the tank by the color. And because the Zycraft structure blocks can be colored any color that you can dye, dyes, pretty much. I think there's a few colors you can't use it with, but, uh, I don't know. Let's look. Structure. Mm -hmm. it looks like pretty much all the colors. This means that I could essentially have a tank. Like, if I was going to put lava in one, I could make orange structure and build it out of orange structure. So, that is quite handy. And it is far, far cheaper, in my opinion, to make than the uh, railcraft tanks. And I believe it is just as compatible, so... That kind of makes a very large difference. I like being able to build tanks out of whatever the hell I damn well please. So that's fun. And, uh... Hmm. Tell me what you think about this water. I kind of feel like I need to replace the... Here, let me turn this on. I feel like I need to replace the basalt with something. Which, by the way... That night vision makes it so you can see underwater like it is a joke. You have no idea. Oh, and my previous episode, I recorded it when I was extremely tired. So, sorry about the lack of enthusiastic intro. Okay, and I should probably talk about this. These blocks, supposedly they grow things faster if you stack them. However, I haven't had a whole hell of a lot of luck. I was trying to grow corn. It wasn't too terribly effective. Now, supposedly the more you stack, the faster things will grow. But I planted a tree on it and waited a minute and it didn't grow, so I was got very bored with it. And I planted wheat on it, but I think wheat takes 24 minutes to grow normally. And if... I'm assuming that if you have 8 of these stacked, it reduces the time to grow by, you know, 8 times. I don't know if it's additive, or multiplicative, or if it even works like that. Who knows? But, um... Yeah. Oh, the cool thing about these Zycraft blocks... I don't think it's been changed, and if it hasn't, what that means is that uh, these blocks cannot spawn mobs, but I still lit them up anyhow. Woo! Blue. So, yeah. I think that pretty much goes over... Let me make a quick look to make sure I didn't forget anything. Anything that I changed, anyhow. I don't think I did. I did look at the industrial craft stuff, and I realized that there isn't really anything I want from that mod. At all. Ever. So, I don't plan to be using that much in the future. But, uh, yep. Here's the overflow box, and whatever random else the stones in there so that way I would have some stone whenever I converted everything into stone bricks in here. And these are all light zycordite. So I was using those to make the colored blocks because I had the most of them at the time. And I used a lot of the blue zycordite in the bottom of the the water areas over in the middle. But next time I just need a random color I'm going to be using red. And I keep on taking these and just clicking on them and then letting things just sit on the ground and disappear after a while once they get too full. Not exactly the best strategy, but whatever works. How much coal do I have now? I have, like, a barrel and a half. That is way too much. Why do I keep looking in there? So I think I'm going to start this record... As you can tell, I actually set up my sound properly this time. I thought about that. 
No wonder. It's the, yeah, it's set to max FPS. I have the advanced OpenGL on, but I swear it doesn't make a difference. I like how it says full screen off, even though technically I am in full screen. I don't know. I have no idea. Yep. So, I don't know how long this has gone on for. Hopefully it's... I don't want to say long enough, but I've put out like a 15 minute episode before. And in fact, a lot of my original Minecraft episodes are around that length. So, I'm going to consider this good. And uh, next time, hope you're uh, interested. We're going to be building a multi block farm using the forestry mods that multi block farm set up. I have a little bit more research to do into it, although I'm pretty sure I've gotten the gist of it. And that's part of the reason why I built those machines there, uh, the Thermionic Fabricator and the Carpenter, because we're going to need those for the next episode. And we may end up needing more machines. That's part of the reason why I need to do a little bit more research, although I don't believe I do. And... Yeah, I think that's about it. I Basically, the reason of the farm is I want to make a wheat farm for food. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might put it somewhere over here. But uh, I'll get all the things ready for that for the beginning of next episode. Ooh, lasers. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.